you want to run beta flight on your ESP to flight controller, you need two things. One is the firmware, which is in this repository and a flight controller board. If you want to build this, you can check my last video where I've give detailed instruction on how you can get started with it. So let's move to the repository now. So this repository is done by RT Lopez and everything is mentioned very clearly. So you can follow all these steps and get started with it. So uh, I'm just going to go uh, do a quick uh, startup guide. So you need to go to uh, releases. And here you'll find all the binary files that are basically carrying the beta flight firmware. So I'm going to select this one because my board is the dev kit one and I'm just going to go ahead and download it. Yeah. So I have it already downloaded and then you need to go to ESP tool website. Um, so this is a tool by ESP Turtle which lets you flash binary firmwares onto your board. So uh, go ahead and plug your ESP Turtle tool to your computer and then you need to click connect. Here you'll be, you need to find your chip. So this is it. And yep, so it is being recognized. Yes and set the address as zero and now you need to choose the file that you selected okay so once this is done you need to click on program and beta flight will be flashed on to your esp32 since i have i have already flashed it i'm not going to do this step so i'm going to disconnect and i'm just going to deep plug okay uh, so now um, you need to head and download um, you need to head and download beta flight configurator make sure that it is among these versions so I have it already downloaded so this is my beta flight and before you connect your uh, USB to it you, uh, you, you need to go to options and here mm -hmm. make sure your setup looks like this and you have auto connect this uh, like deselect it so go ahead, plug in your ESP32 and it's just going to show here and you need to click connect. So you'll be greeted by the setup page here. If you have a MPU 6050, like an IMU connected via the I2C protocol, it's going to recognize it right away. So here you can see when I do the movement, it is being recognized. So here are some steps where you can do the calibration. So click here for the calibration. Uh, you can also check your receiver so right now i have a receiver connected via the ppm protocol onto one of the pins and once i turn this on you can see that as i change the throttle everything is changed and then you need to look at the motors so the nomenclature here is uh, this is second motor so my second motor is this so this is one two three four and you need to map your pins as per that so pin mapping is could be done in this uh, cli tool so here if you type status you can see the details of your flight controller okay see it is recognizing the uh, imu you can also put a barrow and a compass however i haven't put that uh, you can put it and try pr try uh, tuning your drone for that so here, in order to see what pins are connected to what, you need to click get outputs. Get output underscore. And it's going to show you what all pins are connected. So for me, the pin 0, 1, 2, 3 are the motor pins. And they have been uh, mapped as per this is my motor two uh this is my this is my motor two this is my motor one and three and four so similarly you have you can you know map your pins here and the command is simple you need to cl click set pin output and the name of the pin that is zero and you can write the number let's say you want to pin four and you can write pin four so now it is set and now you can see that it has been uh, changed here. So here you can do these uh, changes and uh, as per your, uh, like whatever you want to do and you can just check. You can do a save after that to make sure everything is okay. So now everything is saved. Uh, for, whereas for the input that is coming from the transmitter, you need to type get input underscore and you will see all these things 
so here is an rx pin so similarly you can type set uh, input pin rx whatever the pin number and you're good to go so mine is the pin 26 that's been connected so uh, i have kept it as pin 26 so this is it these are two things you need to look out for because what this is doing is just uh, configuring your pins to beta flight uh, which is a very convenient feature uh, again so, and uh, this is it now let's test the motors so here we can test uh, if the motor mapping is right and if they are clockwise and anti-clockwise so you can go ahead and uh, just make sure you don't give supply to the aspirator from the battery so i've removed this plug and you can just connect the power supply so one of the motors is going to beep I think it's this one um, but that's because we haven't connected you can go to your page here and you can click on this option and now if you send commands to the first motor or oh, this is disconnected you can see that the second motor you can check the speed you can also check if the direction is okay similarly for the other motors you can just check and the one that is not connected is the one beeping. I don't want to connect it because I haven't uh, created a back power protection. So I don't want to mess up the flight controller. As Once your motors are all working fine, you can go to the PID tuning step. Uh, these are the values that work well for F450 frames. So you can just try these out and then uh, work on this to improve your flight better. Uh, the last thing that you need to do is figure out the modes. So here I have selected an auxiliary channel one, which is this switch on my transmitter. And I have made this as arm mode as well as angle mode, because angle mode is the one which gives you a stable flight. And I'm just going, I have just hooked it up to one same channel. So this is arming, that means your propellers are armed and angle is, uh, you have to, it flies in angle mode. Uh, you can set up more uh, flight modes such as loiter or hover at a particular altitude. And of course you'd be needing a barometer for that. So you can just put a barometer on I2C, see if it gets detected. And these list of barometers are provided in the repository. So here you can see the supported devices that are there yep, for barrow and compass. So that's about it guys, uh, once you do all this setup, just uh, save your configuration so you can click on save in each tab and then disconnect and you're good to go. Okay, uh, try to land it front so that we are safe, perfect. <laughs> 